It's a number 19. So fission, right, so be careful with the spelling of that, F-I-S-S-I-O-N, is the splitting of an atom. This can be spontaneous. But can also be triggered, or the more technical word for that is induced. Now, when we talk about splitting an atom, strictly speaking, it's splitting the nucleus because the electrons can be easily separated from atoms. Right? But the key part is, uh, is the nucleus. When we fire a neutron at it, the nucleus becomes unstable. and splits into usually two fission fragments. But here's the key idea, this also produces more neutrons. Um, I'm just going to put and heat energy. And the movement of the fission fragments. A fission reaction occurs. As well as the energy, more neutrons are produced. These neutrons can cause more fission reactions. producing even more neutrons and energy. But the key part for the chain reaction is the neutrons. And remember, I so said, try and finish with this idea and so on. Twenty-one is how this idea is used right, in a generating electricity, so in a nuclear power station. Should be clear, this is we're talking about a fission reactor. These are the types of reactors which are currently used to generate electricity. So the fuel rods in the reactor And they contain the nuclei which will be involved in the fission reactions. For example, 
uranium-235. Now, you don't need to know the exact element. So that's the kind of first part of a reactor, the fuel rods. The control rods are used to absorb That's like a different way. Some of the neutrons so that the chain reaction doesn't get out of hand. Basically, you want to try and keep a stable number of neutrons, roughly, being produced each second. The coolant transfers the heat generated by the fission reactions to the boiler. This turns water into steam. Right, and the steam turns turbines. Turbines are connected to generators. Which produce electricity from the... And I'll introduce this word, you might not have come across it, but we'll do it more later in the year. From the kinetic energy, which is a kind of technical word for movement energy. 